Okay, hopefully this will be the last video I make about this subject, at least for a while anyway. I did want to address the fact that we don't seem to find mental health very important in this country, and we seem to like to treat it with drugs instead of trying to treat it with therapy and counseling. And so often, when we do treat it with therapy and counseling, it ends up being religious-based, but that's neither here nor there. But the other aspect is the problems in our culture. And I just kind of skimmed through the idea of the entitlement that people seem to have towards guns. They seem to think that guns are more of a right than clean air, health care, food, water, like it's just the most important thing because look, it's an amendment to the Constitution. Well, think about that. It's an amendment to the Constitution. Okay, it was added on afterwards. And we could feasibly make another amendment to the Constitution to nullify the Second Amendment. Right-wingers aren't going to allow that to happen. And that's unfortunate. And until that is the case, it is very difficult to think of anything that could really help this ridiculous gun culture that seem, people seem to have. There is a massive sense of entitlement to guns. And I think that's our biggest problem. If we could reduce this sense of entitlement, some of these issues would go away. Never completely go away, but, you know, they would be reduced, I should say. I think we should be doing away with the Second Amendment, but it's not going to happen. The president doesn't have any power over that. It has to be a two-thirds vote. So what are we going to do? It's like we're in a catch-22. If we put too many regulations and restrictions on guns, people on the right will say that it's going against the Constitution, it's going against the Second Amendment of the Constitution. What do we do? What's the answer? Should we have more discussions about the Second Amendment and what it actually means? What it meant when it was enacted and what it means now? Yeah, I think we should have those discussions. Because for the most part it is an outdated concept, the, the reasoning for having the Second Amendment. One theory is that it was to keep the slaves in check. Another theory is that it's so if the government gets taken over by bad guys, then uh, we have the right to fight back. That we have the right to form a militia. Well, the thing is, it was written when we didn't have the types of weapons we have now. The idea that some small group of people, or even a huge group of people, with standard firearms are going to be anything against the military, or even SWAT teams of the police, uh, I mean, look at my little guns. I've got my little guns. I'm going to fight against the military. I mean, it's idiotic. It's idiotic. You really think that you're going to have some sort of chance against that? Well, we need to, we need to keep those rights because, you know, we need to make sure we still have that chance. What chance? A point zero 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 about five hundred zeros 
one chance. The cards are stacked against you. Oh, but that doesn't mean we give up. This is America. America. <laughs> yeah. Um, many of you are the same ones who would who are against boycotting the Confederate flag. Many of you are the same ones who believe bad things about black people and that it's not a culture thing, it's actually the race. Many of you are against... Uh, some, of, some of you are even still against like interracial marriage. Some of you are against gay marriage. We need to return to American traditional values. Yeah, go stuff it up your ass.